So we've got a few, well, quite a few um, pineapples, lovely pineapples. And um, so with this project, we're not experts. We're sort of becoming semi-experts, but basically we're learning as we go. And you know, we've planted pineapple heads and then we've um, tried to let them grow more pineapples once they've grown a pineapple, but obviously we found out that doesn't work and we used good old the internet. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so we've had, we've had quite a few pineapples. We've, I think we have about, maybe about 140. And you can see here, I don't know how good you can see that, but pretty much spaced in between wherever we can fit them. Um, along the fence lines. And you can see this particular garden is a bit of a structured mess. Maybe that's not the best word. Oh, here we go. So here's a nice little pineapple. Um, pretty much they're all had gone, but this particular one for some reason is growing now. Um, out of season. And um, there's a few around here. Now this is the back garden and at the front we've got well about the same and if you don't know much about pineapples um, you can plant you can cut the top of your pineapple off off the head pineapple and you can plant it in the ground and depending upon the area that you're in you know in terms of the, the temperature obviously you've got subtropicals and tropicals and all that and you can grow them in you know non-tropical areas as well but they take longer to grow so what happens is you'll get your pineapple it'll come out through the top it'll uh, sort of sprout out uh, where are we there you'll have like a pineapple grow out from there once that pineapple's done and grown you pull the plant out or you can wait for little shoots to come off um, their pups or slips or something like that and um, then you can plant so you pull the old plant plant out then you plant those in and they're much faster so up here in far north Queensland uh, it's something like 12 months from cutting the top off a fruit and planting and getting a fruit maybe a little bit longer and it's somewhere between a lot less than that somewhere like six to eight months um, apparently and I um, <laughs> haven't kept a an accurate record but basically it's a lot faster from those little um, you know side growths that you replant so that's the the pineapple aspect of things actually I'll show you what it's gonna run through here through the boring bit and then show you we got some pineapples here and um, just been doing a bit of weeding and that needs a bit of a weed and then we've got more pineapples here. And all the way down here, we got some more pineapples. And the birds, the resident birds. So yeah, quite a few. And um, got a bit of a, that's a bit of a, a, a trellis fence, which has got a bit of everything on there at the moment. It's actually the passion fruit is doing quite lovely. And this is a big custard apple. And we've got obviously some, actually check this out. How lush are these? We've got some pawpaws, got some more pawpaws, more pawpaws. <laughs> and we've got some more pawpaws. And down here, Sapodilla. Sapodilla. Uh, oh, there we go, Sapodilla. And he's starting to really, it's a bit hard to see him, but you can see him better from the other side. He's starting to really grow and shoot. And I've put down one of my friends said, hey, put some silica down because they love sandy soil and he had really good results with putting, he put a heap of silica. So I had some diatomaceous earth, put just that down today. And then we've got all these um, passion fruits. So whilst we're waiting for trellises to grow, there's another tree under there somewhere. It's easier to see on the other side. Whilst we're waiting for them to grow, we're making use of the space and we've got um, you know, yeah, these passion fruits on the archway here, and yeah, they're um, 
growing nice and lushly. And we've got some mulberries, big, big mulberry tree, and we've got some. This is turning out to be a full tour almost, isn't it? Um, we've got some jackfruit trees and an extra. So check this out. This is an extra rainwater tank, which is a um, a product, you know, a liquid, um, a bulk liquids tank, and then you know you can get them so cheap. And then this is what we're doing. We're getting, uh, this is all really high grade mulch and compost in here, or compost in the mulch on top. That's going to be the greens garden. And I've got some more over in the corner up against the wall. I can um, put in more greens. I've got some more wild greens like Brazilian. I've got some Brazilian uh, spinach. And there's some other greens in there. And there's some more pawpaw, there's a bit more of a fence line there for trellis, so uh, we've got some passion fruit growing a little bit there. So it's a bit of a wild you know, rainwater tank in the corner, a bit of a wild garden, but it's becoming, it's easy to maintain. Um, you do a little bit of work, you set things up, you get your fruit trees sorted, and you can come back, you know, there might be a bit of, um, you know, uh, weeding to do here and there, but you can let it go wild a little bit and um, yeah there's no sort of well it's uh, just it's just easy to do to start just do something if you make a mistake oh well you fix it up <laughs>